Hello, my friends and family. Um, today I just want to um, talk to you about about good works. Does anybody know about anybody telling you, oh, this is your destiny, this is what God wants you to do, or this is what you want to do, or it's in destiny, or this is perhaps you know, God's doing, or this is God's uh, motive, or um, let's just say, kind of like maybe saying this is God's purpose. Um, that's the word I wanted to know. Yeah, God's purpose. Um, but did you know that There is no biblical word for purpose in the Bible. So that's why I'm saying to all of you people, if you want to become a real literal brother or sister in Christ who wants to read the Bible, learn the three C's. I learned this from a friend of mine. Learn the three C's. Text, context, context. Okay? Text, context, context. Always, always go with context. Context, context. It's the most important thing that you have to do. Because someone could say something else. God has a, has a reason for you to be here. Uh, yeah. But God has a purpose for you. Um, really? <laughs> but, in the biblical sort of sense, let's just start with, there's no such thing as purpose in God. Okay? So, there is one thing that is very readable and very legible for a person could understand this and it's called works we are here for works for glorifying our king our father Yahweh everything is in the biblical sort of sense when it comes to good works plural good work it's in plural so it means all of us. Anything is a good work. If, it, if, it's, if it's the righteous thing to do in godliness and it's for God, then it's considered good works. For instance, you're a father. You're a husband. You provide for your family. You give love to your family. You read holy scriptures to your family, to your wife. That's good works. When a friend needs help and you provide help for him, that's good works. When you're a construction worker and you're working as you were working as for your father, that's good works. When you give money to the poor, give money to the widows, to the elderly, whoever needs help, or even the orphan, that's good works. Um, helping an old lady crossing down the street, crossing the street intersection, that's good works. There is a biblical sort of sense of good works. So, um, let me read the Bible for you. And if you are a new believing Christian, my best information is, the best advice I could give to you is context, content, content. Read your Bible by yourself. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Okay? Um, I prefer the ES ESV for learning probabilities and everything and it's, it's practical it's practical 
and it's pretty good. Um, every every new believer Christian should read the ESV. But if you want word for word in Hebrew and Greek, and it's perfectly perfectly sound. The NASB. Oh, you cannot believe that. It is the best. It is the best. It's word for word Hebrew and Greek. So I recommend the NASB. But for teaching purposes or for a new believer, I suggest you go to the ESV. But um, let me first start reading you some chapters about good works. So I go to gotta put my reading glasses now because I'm getting kind of old. See, I'm not prosperity gospel. I wear some. I wear reading glasses now. <laughs> okay. Um, if you go to James two, okay, in the book of James two, verse twenty six. For just a, for just as the body without a spirit is dead. So also faith without works is dead. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you are getting the same advantage. You get a gift of giving. You give the, the things of works. You know? So a lot of people say, I'm not a Christian, but I give to the poor. And this, that doesn't work. Because we, as Christians, we believe that we rely in faith and faith alone in Jesus Christ. And then we be then we do good works. Not because we're gonna go to heaven because of our good works, because we know that we know the Creator and we know God. And we know Jesus. Okay? So that's the main understanding of James um, verse uh, chapter two, verse 26. Now, I'll go right here to another New Testament thing on 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 21. Therefore, if anybody changes himself from these things, he will be a vessel of honor, sanctified, Useful to the master, prepared for every good work. So, when God has given you salvation, sanctification, you become a saint. Then he knows that you are honored and you will be given good works. It doesn't matter if it's in your job. It doesn't matter when you do charity. It doesn't if you do if you become a um, a, a, a husband or a good son, a good grandson, a good friend. You're you're starting to give good works because it's already in. It's in the combo <laughs> of sanctification. So. Sanctification is in the combo. That's that's the gift that you have to give. So that's pretty cool to understand that. So if you really want to know Old Testament style, I got you. I got Old Testament to tell you that you know it's it's not you, it's God that is giving you all that sanctification, that sanctification and and the good works. That if God gives you wealth and all of that thing, it's not you that's doing all that stuff. It's actually God. So this is this is something that I wanna I wanna share to you guys. In the wilderness, He fed you manna, which your fathers did not know, that He might humble you, and that. He might test you to do good for you in the end. Otherwise, you may say to your heart, My power and the strength of my hand made me 
this wealth, but you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who is giving you power to make wealth, that He may confirm His covenant with He swore to your fathers, as it is this day. So, I don't know, I don't know you, I don't know the heart, but I know the way people speak, I know how people react, I know how people react on videos, in internet videos like Instagram and all that stuff, you're showing your wealth and everything. And I'm not the one who does know how to guess things, but I could give out revelation. Not revelation in the Bible, but I will think that most of you don't even think about God. This is my understanding. I'm not critiquing or anything, but I know that you guys do not think about God every day. Your wealth and your power always think that it's you, but it's not. It's God. Did you know that God is so merciful that He won't even strike you down because you are worth nothing to Him? You're worse sinner than anybody else, including myself. I deserve worst. I deserve even the worst things in life. But here I am. He has given me mercy of everything. So, I just want to say, repent. Pray to God. Repent. Give yourself to God, to the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want to lose you. You are great friends. That people that I don't know or people that I do know. But I want you to repent and give yourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. And to be humble. And to work hard for Him. For good works. Not because you're destined to do those. It's not for your glory. It's for His glory. So, God bless. Be the Lord in Jesus Christ. Give you grace and mercy and love and peace upon all of you. And I hope this message goes out to anybody in the world who needs it. I love you and repent. In Jesus Christ, my Lord, I pray. Amen.